Hey guys, Scope Scripter here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a controllable NPC in Roblox Studio um, that you can move to certain points by clicking on it, like this button. If you click it, this NPC will move here. And I'm just going to show you how to set this up. So right now I'm just going to move all the stuff I currently have into server storage. So just ignore that. The reason I'm doing that um, is just so I can redo everything and show you guys how it's done. Okay. And um, I'm actually going to leave this script right here just so I don't have to like retype it all. Uh, but I'm just going to put it into starter pack. Again, ignore this. Um, right now, um, You, if you open up a blank base plate, which is what you should do to start, everything should be empty. There should be nothing there. And I'll show you the first thing you might want to do is you're going to want to insert a part right up here, just a part, and you're going to want to name it point one, just like that. And uh, I'm just going to delete the while, that doesn't really matter. But anyway, once you have point one, we're going to go into the toolbox and we're going to get our NPC. So just search up walking NPC and find the new one right here. There are multiple, but you should take this one titled walking NPC by Zanki underscore E and insert it into your game and it will look like this and it will be called noob so open up noob and delete the move script inside it you don't need that now place it as far away as you'd like from the point i'm just going to put it a few studs away and now we will inside of starter gui insert a screen gui and then, hold on, let me just delete the stuff from server storage. Um, anyway, inside screen GUI, we're going to insert a text button, just like that. And I'm just going to make it a regular button. I'm not going to really customize it. It'll just say button, and the text will be walk to flag, uh, flaff. I guess it doesn't say flag. Just fix that real quick. Um box to flag and I'm just gonna get a toolbox flag and I'm gonna just place it in here right by the point which is point one um, by the way point one will be where your NPC walks to I don't know if I mentioned that already but I just want to make that a little bit clear that's that's where he's gonna walk to anyway I'm gonna put the flag in like this right up here and um, yeah anyway let's start scripting Inside a text button, we're going to want to insert a script. And um, I already have the script in starter pack, which I put it there so I didn't have to retype it. But I'm actually just going to like delete that right now. Um, so we'll type it from scratch. What we're going to type is script.parent.mouse button one click colon connect function. Okay. And we're going to enter down and we're going to type game.workspace.noob because that is the name of our NPC. You will have to change the name of this to whatever you want here, okay? And then we're just gonna put dot um, humanoid colon move, sorry, not move, move to, and then game dot workspace dot point one dot position, um, because this is the position of the part which it's is point one so enter the name of your part which for me it's point one and then dot position and then we're just gonna enter down and we're gonna write game oh wait by the way um i'm just gonna get rid of this and only one of these should be here okay let's continue game dot workspace dot noob because again that's the name of my npc and then dot humanoid dot um, move to finish, colon, wait. And this is actually the completed script. So that's actually all you need to know. Um, so I'm just going to go over this one more time, if anyone didn't understand it. Basically, all you need is this walking NPC. Delete the move script that's in it. Then inside screen GUI, I mean inside the starter GUI, insert screen GUI, then a text button. And then inside the text button, you just got to insert the script right here, type this, and it actually should work. Um, so let's just test it out, though, just to make sure. All 
Um, okay, now if you press it, it should work. And the new box to the flag. Now, before I have to answer this in the comments, if you can make multiple NPCs, yes, you can, and I'm just going to show you how to do that now. You can just duplicate your noob NPC, drag it over here, and rename this to like something like noob1 or whatever. And um, once you've renamed it, um, go back into your script, just enter down, and then copy this part up here, just control copy, and then control V on the bottom, and now you have the exact duplicate, change noob to noob1 or whatever the name of your second troop or NPC is that you want to move. Um, and then both of them should walk to the point. And then you can just keep repeating that process to make the more and more of them walk to the uh, point. So we'll press it. First one will walk, and then the second one will follow. All right. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If this did help you out, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.